So my friends, Jordan Peterson, Dr. Peterson, the first time I heard about him was, uh, there was a controversy about pronouns and whatnot and, and blah, blah, blah. He's a right wing, you know, he's a bigot, he's a left wing, whatever. I do not care about that. The thing that really caught my eye about Dr. Peterson was he was saying the words that a motivational speaker would say, but he had the psychology background. So it wasn't just fancy slogans. He was saying things from a very psychology like perspective. He's very good at articulating his points and he would say certain things that would grab your attention. For example, he would say life is full of suffering. So why not find meaning in your life to make the suffering worth it? Or, or you know, how can you expect to change the world and, and be the greatest entrepreneur in the world when you can't clean your damn room, right? Like before you want to start criticizing other people's houses, fix your own house first. And I think, you know, Dr. Peterson this time is a really cool figure where he can articulate his points really well. He has the psychology background. He can really break down these concepts, you know, of, because I think the, the part where people get lost in psychology is that there's this jargon and theory and dates where some of these people want practicality. They're like, hey man, why do nice guys always finish last? How can I get out of depression? How do I find meaning in my life? So when you go to YouTube, you can type in it right now, Jordan Peterson, what people have done, fantastic ideas. He'll take these complex ideas, but he doesn't use too much jargon. So they're easy to understand for someone who's, who's never taken a psychology class. So you can literally type in Jordan Peterson, um, how to deal with depression. Jordan Peterson, why nice guys finish last? Jordan, Pe you know, blah, blah, blah. So you have this person with who knows the scientific backing, who's breaking down these practical concepts that literally anyone can use. So I, the amount of hours, my friends, I've spent just listening to his videos, it's crazy. Cause like, you know, being a psychology student, you'd, you know, go to campus, listen to your lectures. And then on the bus home, I'd, I'd listen to his lectures. So it's, it's very, very interesting, you know, he, him having taught at Harvard University and teaching at Toronto, you know, I sometimes feel like I am indirectly in his class as well. Like I'm, I'm listening to his teachings as well. So it is, it is super, super cool. And I think my friends, for anyone who is searching for a meaning of purpose and, and kind of which way to go in life and really picking up after yourself and taking responsibility for your life. I think that's why Jordan Peterson draws so much attention to him, right? It is, it is that he can break down these complex ideas, verbalize them in a, in a very easy to understand manner. Not always, not always, but, and I think more than that, I think he, he really, he's really br blunt with people. He's really blunt with people in the sense that he says, listen, the world is going to be effing scary, but rather than running away from it, let's face it. So you can learn how to deal with it. Instead of me telling you, Hey, don't ever run. Cause you might fall actually do the opposite run. So you do fall because I want you to learn how to get back up. And I think him putting that twist on a lot of the, the, you know, stories in life. I think that is what really, really captures people's attentions. You know, a lot of his um, speeches and things that he says that he's big on is about this unsung hero, this hero who goes into the unknown, who keeps fighting bigger risks and, and bigger beasts and goes into the darkness. And every time he does, a piece of him dies, right? He has to give up a piece of himself. So he changes in order for him to become reborn. And I think, you know, when you take like those ideas, those mythological stories and whatnot, whether they're from the Bible or other areas, you can really interpret them to different areas of your life. So Jordan Peterson, definitely for the last few years, uh, you know, not to mention his book out and, and his pub other publications on YouTube is super, super interesting to listen to. I would 100% recommend them.